just got off work. I am about to spend two hours doing my school work. And then after that, I will be back. Focus on me. Okay, thank you. I'll be back. I just want to set aside two hours to really get work done. Usually I do my homework on the weekend, but I want to change that because I like my weekends to myself. So yeah, let's um, hop to it and I'll be back and we can talk about something completely different. Pray for me. dark in my room but hopefully I am in focus I don't want to turn up I see exactly what it's focused on it's focusing on my door I don't want to um, turn up the exposure just for editing purposes so if I'm out of focus I apologize but today is October 8th so this is pretty much gonna be a full week vlog of everything that I'm doing because I did something Remember with that last video when I was talking about time and how, you know, we should take advantage of it instead of acting like we have a lot of time? Well, this is one of the consequences of my actions of thinking that we have like a whole bunch of time. And that is having to catch up on schoolwork for my second class due to negligence. I can't say anything else outside of that. And... With that, I am just having to kind of put vlogging on the back burner or just life low key on the back burner. That, or not life, because life is gone life, period. But can you focus on me? Thank you. Maybe if I. Um, Mm, go back to 60. Y'all yeah, about to see my settings change. I do apologize. I'm going to change my f-stop. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I want to be the focus. Okay. I'm in the focus. I'm in the view. Can you see me? It's hard to see on this viewfinder because... It's so small and I wear glasses. I need to download that Sony app that I mentioned in a previous video. Anyways though, so the consequences of my actions, I've been negligent. Uh, net, my brain is melting. I've been neglecting one of my classes. And it's because Everything is due by the end of the school year. It's it's not a it's not a hard class. It's not one of those classes. I do have a class though that everything is due on that Sunday. This isn't one of those classes. So I'm like, you know, eh, I'll do it when I when I'm no longer burned out. And now look at me. I am scarfing down six weeks of work. Thankfully, this is the um, second class to the first class that I've taken. So this is just an, a continuation. But still, you know, it's just like, dang. <sighs> it's a lot, it's, it's just a lot. And then um, we're using the same system, but there is an additional system and it's from a different campus. And because it's from a different campus, I'm having to learn that while still remembering the system well it's not that I don't remember because 
I'm really good with uh, the Cisco platform. It's this other platform where I'm like, I don't really like it, but I like it because it's real life viewing of what I'll be doing as a network in engineer. So, yeah, I was just like, I really wanted to go see Norris Johnson Jr. today for the Tuesday Talk Live. I had registered and got my ticket. It's free, you know, so I just, it was just for a head count. And I really want to go see him, but I can't. And I'm just going to say this is a punishment because I don't want to be doing schoolwork. I want to go there and be a part of the Tuesday Talk Live. But, you know, that's what I get. That's all I have to say. That This is exactly what I get. And I'm just going to take it, take the punch, take that L, whatever you call it and move on but i'm not happy about it past brand you suck it's gonna be okay future brand <laughs> oh lord help me and i repented i repented i repented so much and then um i ended up having a problem with one of the one of the labs but god showed me what i was doing wrong the goal is to have seven weeks of work done because I know like I'm six weeks behind but let's just move it to seven weeks and you know I'll, I'll really be caught up in my opinion I'll be ahead of the curve or you know I don't want to overdo it but I may have to just for my sanity yeah I'm just I feel all over the place but I feel like I'm snacking a lot because I need to cook I don't know if you're like me, where if you don't cook, you just find yourself rummaging in the kitchen, trying to get full off of whatever because you don't have pre-made food. Like, I don't eat pre-made food anymore, to be completely honest. If I do, it's from Aldi's, but it's very rare. I'm usually eating out or I'm cooking. It's one or the other. It's never a pre-made something or, you know, I just I gotta I gotta get better so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make stir fry I'm gonna make chicken stir fry today and I'm gonna make a ton of it I love chicken stir fry with broccoli and carrots and bell pepper so I'm gonna make sure I have a week worth of that I know where it's Tuesday today that's fine but I want at least enough that stretches from today up to uh, Saturday and then I'll figure out something. I need some more um, recipes. I really want to buy a recipe book because I am not, I just started cooking like when I say I learned how to cook last year. Yeah, it's been a year, October of last year I learned how to cook and I've been cooking ever since but like I only know of like I know how to make chipotle wraps, I know how to make butter chicken, I know how to make um, alfredo pasta, um, chicken stir fry, roast stew, I cook roast, just regular roast with mashed potatoes, um, I know how to make sweet potato, uh, I can make cheesecake, okay that sounds like a lot, now that I say it out loud, I know how to make marry me chicken, which is so and pesto chicken, I love pesto. Um, but yeah, though that's really it. After a while, like that rotation kind of gets boring, and you want to like learn something else. So I go on Pinterest a lot, but Pinterest is like a hit and miss sometimes. So I'm going to actually buy a recipe book of healthy ingredients and go from there. But yeah, I just find myself snacking today. I was snacking a lot yesterday. And I know it's because I haven't cooked. And because of the type of job I work, even though I work remote, the fact is that I am I'm latched to my laptop because I talk on the phone and I'm a part of uh, customer support. So I don't have that 
free freedom to just step away when I need a breather or anything like that. I have to stay where I am. And for other people who work remote, that's not the case. You know, you can just go about your business. You can run errands or whatever while working remote. You have that flexibility versus when you're in customer support and you're working from home, you do not have that unless you have like a Bluetooth headset, but still you have to be strapped down to your laptop taking incident reports and things like that. So it's just not as flexible. And then because of that, my mind is just turning, turning, turning. And because I'm just sitting here, it's like I need, it's the motor skill thing, you know, like I need to be doing something because after you've typed what all you needed to type, you're just sitting there listening. But yeah, I just find myself needing to move around and stuff and because I can't, guess what can move my mouth? So like, can I have some gum? Can I have something? It's just weird. Anyways, I am on my last break. I am actually about to clock back in, but I will see y'all in a little bit. I may show y'all. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. It is De uh, December, what? <laughs> Today is um, October 9th, wow. Anyways, um, I, I won't be vlogging today. Like, I'm only gonna be posting this, like I'm ending the vlog from where I first started recording Monday to today. This is gonna be the end of it. Uh, reason being is uh, I just feel a real heaviness right now with what's going on with, with um, the hurricane and the people who are going to be impacted by the hurricane and I just want to really be in prayer and I want if I just want to say this that whenever you feel an urgency to pray and it's not about yourself but it's about others or it's about the environment that we are living in you have to make that the necessary step and pray and move yourself out of it and pray for whatever you feel in the urgency to pray for and that's just where I am right now it started last night where I haven't really been following the hurricane that much, but uh, yesterday I just found myself watching about this hurricane <clears throat> and the, the impact it's going to have. And I just found myself on my knees praying because this is a serious issue. You know, we are in the world where Politicians don't care about climate change. They don't care that this is going to be life altering if we don't put a handle on on this. And I feel like we are we have surpassed being able to do really much about climate change. I feel like we could still, you know, turn the boat around. But the impact has already started from the lack of care for climate change. And um, now I feel like we are seeing with our own eyes what, what is to come, pretty much. You know, I've always heard, not heard, but I've always read about the disasters that would happen 
with climate change and um, how Florida, uh, parts of Florida would be wiped out. And same for California, <clears throat> same for parts of Texas, you know, you got Galveston, uh, Port Arthur, uh, I want to say Corpus Christi or Beaumont. It's just, it's a lot of parts around America that are going to Hawaii. You have Hawaii who's suffering, not just from, you know, climate change, but also from price gouging due to, you know, tourism and just uh, people moving there, but they are not helping with, it's a whole lot. I can just, I go on and on about Hawaii and why I will never visit Hawaii as much as I would love to, you know, see Honolulu. It's not worth it. It's, it's not worth doing that to them. Um, anyways, though, all that to say, if two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, he will be there. And if you are a believer, if you are someone who truly believes in the power of prayer, I want you to join me with praying for this country, praying for other nations in the world, you know, definitely be praying for the Middle East quite a bit um but yeah i just feel like there is a need for prayer because what else you know like i think that's a very a very good response right now So yeah, that's the end of this vlog. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that my voice is groggy. I legit just got out of bed. Um, I'm about to get up and start moving around. I just, um, I just got through praying and all of that. And I read, um, I read Matthew's chapter 18, uh, 19 through 20. 21 yeah and that's where I got the you know where two or three are gathered in his name he will be there and it's all gonna be okay it's gonna be just fine but yeah um thank you so much for rocking with me again I apologize for the vlogs having to be put together due to just a life with me and my unnecessary ways involving school but I'm, I'm officially getting caught up things are starting to turn up thankfully um that is good um yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe be well peace out i'll see y'all next video Bye.